Today I'm going to be talking about what steps or what care should di uh, diabetic mothers who have just delivered they should take care of. So mothers who have had gestational diabetes after delivery uh, are at very high risk of developing type 2 diabetes in the future. The risk is as much as 50% in certain populations. So the care to be taken is just like how you would do if you are a diabetic patient. So a lot of women are actually under the impression that the diabetes goes away after pregnancy and won't come back. But the, the, the better you take care of your uh, condition or your lifestyle and diet after pregnancy or after delivery, the lesser your chances of diabetes coming in the future. So this means low carbohydrate diet, low uh, glycemic index diet, so diet which has a lot of fiber, a lot of uh, uh, protein is much better than a high carbohydrate like a high carbohydrate diet like rice, sweets, potatoes, etc. So things like ragi, quinoa, joa, millets should be your base carbohydrate and this should be topped up by vegetables, fruits consumed in the uh, adequate quantity through the day. This should be coupled with adequate exercise in the form of aerobic exercise which could be 30 to 45 minutes. In diabetes, it is very important that the patient adhere to their prescribed medicines. Uh, we see time and often that uh, patients, once their blood sugar is under control, they stop their taking their medicines or reduce the medicines on their own accord. This is not acceptable or this is not good for their health. Why? Because diabetes is not a temporary disease. It is not like an infection where you give take antibiotics, the infection settles and then you stop the antibiotics. Diabetes is a chronic disease. It is a progressive disease. It will continue to depre depreciate your pancreatic reserve of insulin. It will continue to increase your sugar levels should you not keep them under control. So the answer to this question is that you should regularly uh, take the medicines as prescribed by your doctor and only alter the medicines on the advice of the endocrinologist or the diabetologist. You have to have a regular sugar check done and whatever medicines take whatever medicines keep your sugar level under control. So let's say if a XYZ medicine is keeping your HbA1c at 6.5%, that XYZ medicine is the right dose for you and you should not alter it without the knowledge of your doctor. Diabetes in pregnancy is of two types where a, a, a woman can have pre-existing diabetes and then she can become pregnant and that diabetes has to be followed up through the pregnancy. Whereas the second type of diabetes in pregnancy is called gestational diabetes which develops through the course of the pregnancy because of the excess amount of hormones that are present in uh, certain susceptible individuals uh, or the sus certain susceptible mothers. So how do we treat uh, this gestation diabetes. Well, the treatment is very different from how you uh, how we treat other type 2 diabetics. The main treatment involves a tablet called metformin and insulin. So, uh, diabetic mothers should take care uh, that their sugars are well controlled because the high sugars can lead to a condition called macrosomia which means that the babies can be born very big of more than 4 kgs. This will, this will cause difficulty in uh, giving birth to that large baby and also the baby can get hypoglycemia after he or she is born. To prevent this, you have to have a very regular check uh, with your endocrinologist and have your blood sugars checked regularly at home.
whether type 2 diabetes is hereditary? The answer is no. Although it is not a genetic disease, the type 2 diabetes can be inherited to uh, the successive generations um, only sometimes but not all the times. Therefore, it is not purely a genetic disease. There are multiple other factors like environmental, dietary, lifestyle factors which uh, make this um, uh, type 2 diabetes more prominent in some families. This can be prevented by good diet, healthy lifestyle right from the childhood. So, for example, if both parents have diabetes, the chance of a uh, uh, the, um, the the chance of a the uh, offspring getting type two diabetes is about twenty to twenty five percent. If one parent has type two diabetes, the chance is about ten to fifteen percent. This can further be uh, cut down if a good diet and lifestyle is followed. So. Some, although some the rare forms of diabetes like maturity onset diabetes of the young or MODI do exist which are purely genetic, diabetes is not a purely genetic disease. emergencies part 2. One is hypoglycemia which is much more dangerous than a high blood sugar. A low sugar is characterized by a uh, sugar value of less than 70 mg per deciliter. This is associated with symptoms like sweating, uh, tremors, um, uh, feeling giddy, feeling hungry, feeling shaky, just like you would ex what you would expect when you are very hungry. So what to do in these situations? First of all, the immediate step to do is to manage it with a sugar-based solution or a sugar-based food like taking 4 spoons of Lupon D or 4 spoons of sugar, mix it in water and drink it out. Repeat if needed. This should be followed by a main meal like a carbohydrate meal like chapati, roti, rice, whatever you can find. The next step after this is crucial. The hypoglycemia happens generally because of overtreatment of diabetes. So please hold your medications until you see your diabetic doctor the next day. So this is the treatment of hypoglycemia. Hyperglycemia generally does not have a, an immediate emergency unless the sugars go in the range of 500 or 600.